Since 1975, I've been studying over 2,600 works of art, 650 monumental buildings, and I've been traveling all over Europe bringing uh, portable equipment to uh, uh, some of the most beautiful artworks we have in Europe. We are actually seeing and looking at our past. Our past doesn't necessarily mean, as today we tend to believe, that it's gone. Today, that's what you see. Now you do it, you create a thermogram, you see these two slopes, this is a, a structure, the wall here was broken to open up a window, and now you go and look in the past, you see this uh, Bellotto, um, 18th century painting, and so the church is still there, and we just saw the two diagonal lines were the folds of the roof of a church that is still there, a church that is a thousand years old and we thought was lost. In other words, uh, we uncover a church. The law states that now, even before starting a new project, so you can, const you, you can be involved in building a new house or a new road, it doesn't matter, you should show the archaeological risk before you submit the design. Yeah, basically we think of ourselves as a bunch of uh, scientists with dirty shoes. And most of the times we are sitting in a van and, and driving around, so... The local authorities are used to a different kind of archaeological risk analysis, which is cautious, shallow excavation which is basically you take a, a bucket and you just grasp you know, and check. Uh, the funny story is now that we have used these new machines that we showed you that are really highly technological. If you are able to scan 170 hectares in one month, then you can go and look in detail in some specific spots. And the same, exact, exactly the same uh, concept is used for agriculture and for wine. Uh, I decided to move from the field of medicine to culture heritage, applying the same methodology, most of the technology, and some technology I tried to uh, build myself or modified. Okay, I, I am uh, actually originally an electrical engineer. And I think this, the very basic idea of what an engineer is all about um, is uh, that is using the ingenio, that is the, uh, this creativity to search for solutions. For example, the measurements that you saw today are used to monitor the oscillation when you are building a big uh, wind farm. We are in Pontedera and uh, a city near uh, Pisa and Florence in the middle in the Tuscany region, that is a middle region of Italy. A green energy is not the future, as uh, a lot of people uh, think, but is the present. And I would like to, gi to give my, uh, my work and my passion to this, uh, to this kind of, uh, of situation. Yeah, the future is that uh, I, we, th we think that uh, in less than one year we will have uh, three more uh, wind turbines here. We have uh, a construction site of a photovoltaic plant uh, near our office. We, we saw uh, in front of our, our office uh, a particular structure uh, where uh, uh, we decided to install the, the solar plant. 
No, 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 we, 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 don't, uh, we didn't build uh, nothing. The, the, the owner of this, uh, this build, this structure, is uh, the municipality of Pontedera. Now, we, with this uh, solar plant, we, we change the, the view of the, of the skyline on the rooftop. Uh. Well, you see what is the result of centuries of uh, transformations, modifications, changes. Changes not only structure changes, but also changes of use. It's, um, it's a very interesting combination. Internet and uh, historical building, art. We are in Palazzo Poschi. This is a Renaissance uh, palazzo. And uh, this is the uh, home to Yurid's southern regional office. Uh, Italy, for example, has the dot IT that represents uh, Italy. Greece, uh, where I come from, has the dot GR. Same thing does also the dot EU. Gives the European identity uh, to the business, to the company. We chose to have the EU for a few reasons. I think the main one is that coming from uh, US, uh, business uh, education, the dot com uh, sounds very American somehow. We are all Europeans. I'm from Pisa. I'm from Spain to Madrid. I'm from Portugal. A Sardinian soul and a Tuscan twist. You saw F Fernando, the guy you interviewed today, he has a PhD. Giovanni, the guy who's driving the bike with the resistivity system, is a PhD in agricultural systems. Variety is an opportunity uh, just because the standard commodities can be made elsewhere. Probably this would not ha have happened a few years ago because there were more f funds to keep these people in the university. Much more uh, could be made if we think of the uh, business opportunities not only uh, in, in, in technology but also in humanities. Uh, in general, and the valorization of the national heritage. The university system in Pisa is really investing in this, uh, in this area. I came from Sardinia to, to study in Pisa, uh, and uh, I immediately fell in love with, uh, with Tuscany. Tuscany, it is not easy to be a band that plays this kind of rock with uh, English lyrics. I, I wasn't born in Pisa. I came here around 1995. So I've always wondered if, if I did fit in. The axolotl is like a strange kind of fish which doesn't go up. I'm Federico, I'm the singer in the band called Novadef and we've been playing for about four or five years in Pisa. Right now we're searching for a, a label. Well, we never thought about leaving Italy actually. We're still thinking about leaving Tuscany. We hope to find a continuation of the wall of the Roman settlement. I, I don't know how to talk about the future, I prefer to talk about the past. Well, the future, I think it looks as you want it to be. It depends on how much you're ready to invest. Alessio, vieni a vedere. Guarda cosa abbiamo trovato. If you remember, the church is here. This is the road. Structure, structure. What is this? Is that a success? Yes. I think this is more than enough to start the project. Every work of art has a story to be revealed. 
I uh, started searching for this mural, believe it or not, in 1975. The Mona Lisa and the Battle of Anghiari, that's the name of the mural, were made when uh, Leonardo was in Florence between 1500 and 1506. So they were made at the same time. Once we find it, it is, uh, we, have, we would have found the masterpiece of the Renaissance and the most important work of art ever conceived and made by Leonardo da Vinci.